my kindergarten friends, you remember this book probably. It's a star book. Remember, it's called The Little Red Hen. This version is by Paul Galdon. It's a folk tale. It's a version that's been around, or it's a story that's been around for a long time. This is his version. He did the illustrations and he did the words. Once upon a time, a cat and a dog and a mouse and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. I was going to say home, but then I looked at the word and it's got the S in it. I'm like, oh, it's got to be house. The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. Mm, that looks snuggly. The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. That means it's a porch in the back of the house. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked all the meals and washed all the dishes she, and made the beds. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. That means that she fixed them, sewed them to if there were any holes in the clothing. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. When I say cried, it doesn't mean <laughs> it means like ooh. when you cry out something, you kind of shout it out with them. Um, you're a little bit maybe like, oh, what's going on? You're crying something out. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon the wheat, was pu soon the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, Who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, Now who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. The little red hen returned from the mill, carrying a small bag of fine white flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. The oven looks different than what we have nowadays, doesn't it? Soon a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. The cat got off the soft coat. Let me reread that. The cat got off the soft coat couch and strolled into the kitchen. When you stroll, it's kind of like a slow, fancy walk. The dog got up from got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. Who will eat this cake? asked the little red hen. I will cried the cat. I will, cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. Oh, look at how they're like, mm. But the little red hen said, all by myself, I planted the wheat. I tended the wheat. I cut the wheat. I took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour. All by myself, I gathered the sticks. I built the fire. I mixed the cake. And all by myself, I am going to eat it. Can't blame her, right? And so she did to the very last crumb. Look at how they're like, oh. And after that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. They must have learned their lesson. You have to help if you want to, if you want to enjoy the rewards of hard work. You need to help. I love you. I miss you. Stay well. Bye.